Hey guys, how are you? So obviously you can see that this is journal entry number three. Um, this journal entry is definitely more <laughs> on the personal side of things. Um, I mean, all of them are personal, but this one kind of hits a little home and a little different for me. Um, some of you may be curious about what's going on. Some of you may not be curious. I will speak about it when the time is right. Um, some days I want to curse. Some days I feel sad. Some days I'm questioning, did I do something wrong? It's because I fell back on my readings and my spiritual side of things. Maybe it's because I just need to be isolated to step into a better season or increase in my season. Um, so let's get into this journey. I ask myself these questions and go through the motions trying to figure out what exactly went wrong when everything was going right. It happened randomly and suddenly. Like I said, I didn't see it coming. Has that ever been you? Everything was going in the right direction. Things were beginning to look up. Then a major plot twist. I know I'm not the only one this has happened to. It's just disappointing. I keep wondering to myself, is this the proper reset I need for this new era and new season of my life? As I sit here and reflect on this, I am isolated by my thoughts and emotions. Isolated with my spirit feeling shaky and not so much at ease. The feeling is unexplainable. It's like 60% of me is okay and I have a sense, sense of peace despite the major curveball. Maybe that's my faith being activated because I know something greater is coming. But 40% of me is still shaken worried worried about how certain things will get done how certain things are going to get accomplished but keeping it all together but i keep telling myself one thing god is not the god of confusion and he will provide for all my needs one minute i feel okay i'm reciting bible scriptures and then the next second i'm the next second i'm crying and just questioning how sounds a little bipolar but i promise you it's that's not what it is i'm human and I go through the swirl and up and down of emotions. You see, that's what happens when you're trying hard to keep it together. You try so hard that you break. You try so hard that you aren't sure what emotion to go with. So you turn numb. I guess that what, that's what happens when curveballs are thrown. Am I the only one? And I can tell you as a side note, when curveballs happen, not all the time I take them well. But surprisingly for this one, I've been taking it pretty good. So I thank God for that. <laughs> Though I am in a new season and a few things still need to, there are a few things that still need to take place. But for those things to take place, maybe I had to be removed from certain things. Perhaps I must go through the isolation and silence. But we'll talk about that in a different post. Hint, hint. Obviously, this curveball was for a reason. I know you guys are wondering what this curveball is, but I can't say because it's a season of silence. <laughs> Listen, and this isn't me boasting. I literally have my alarm set to a certain time in the morning just to wake up and pray. And that is because simply this is reminding me of something that has happened about five or six years ago. And golly, it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy, but I refused to allow myself to get back to that place mentally. Now that I think of it, what if God had to shake things up, swirl me around like a hurricane and reroute me? What if what I think I want is not what I want? What if I did miss a step? So now he has to, you know, be God, be a parent, help me get back to where I'm supposed to be. Maybe I didn't skip a step. And this is how he's realigning, readjusting, rejuvenating, regenerating, and reviving me. <laughs> Perhaps this isolation is really for me to sit my backside down and decide on what it is I really want and stand firm on it. My mind is like an analytical machine. That's this does not stop. It does not stop processing. It does not stop wondering. One minute, there's this confidence boost to do what I want. And the next, I question if I really should. 
My main issue is I compare myself and I worry about what others will think of me and what I decide to do. You know, that's a fault of mine. Sometimes I let what people say get the best of me, but then I remember who I am. Because this is my life and not their own. It's that similar feeling, like when they say you can't be lukewarm in God, or you can't be in and out of your spiritual journey. Make up your mind on what you're gonna do, because once that boat leaves, like Noah's Ark, that's it. Your hip is grass. See what I did there? I hope you can swim. The point is, I firmly believe this is what's happening to me. I must stand firm on this and let that be that. And to hell what anybody else thinks or says. Are you feeling where I'm coming from? I hope so. I must calm my spirit because it will, it, because it will not always be like this. Sooner than later, it will turn around for me. And the story will continue. So guys, that was my journal entry for today. I know you guys are like, you know, y'all can relate to me. Maybe some of you guys want to know like, what's happening with Azalea? What's going on? Why can't we know what's happening? But all is well and all is going to be well. Um, I think that, like I said, there are some things that I do need to stand firm on. There are a few things that I need to stop worrying about so much. Um, I know that when I go to church, <laughs> sometimes when my, um, the pastor and the prof, when they would talk and they would speak, something they always tell people is, stay in your lane. Don't worry about what other people are doing. Don't worry about what other people are focusing on and how they accomplish these things. Just focus on you. And that is definitely a true saying. And this journal entry, like I said, is really, is a really, it's for me, Ray, at this current time, is a deep one for me. Because, like I said, God knows I don't like curveballs, but he, he definitely threw this one as a curveball for me. But it's all good. It's all fine. At the right time and in the right season, I will let y'all know <laughs> what's been going on or what has ha what happened. It's not that bad, but it's not that bad. I'll put it like that. It's not that bad because I don't want people to think it's something dead serious. It's not. Little trivia, but I just don't do curveballs. I really don't. But you know, life be life, and but see the you. And if you stick to stick to the end of this video, I do want to say that when life hits you with a curveball, take it like a jump. Sit down and pause for a moment and think about what it is that you need to do. Sit down for if you got and listen. Sometimes you gotta throw a tantrum. Sometimes you gotta curse and freak out and cry. Do that, you human. But sit down, breathe. Think about what it is you need to do. Reevaluate the situation and see if there's anything you need to fix. Maybe you need to develop in certain areas. Maybe you need to grow in a certain area, improve on a certain area before God elevates you to that next big thing. So that's what I want to say. Don't focus on no one else. Focus on yourself. Don't be lukewarm in your decisions. Whatever it is that you want to do, stick to it. Stand firm on it. Don't worry about what any other person says, and you will get there. And whatever you do, put God in the midst of it all. So, I love you all, and I will see you all in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications. Keep blooming. Don't use no violence, because we need peace right now. We are in critical times. We need peace. Bye.